I'm a 3D artist and I'm about to make a very large mistake. <sighs> you see, I recently hit 1 million subscribers, meaning YouTube sent me a gold play button, which I was very excited to open. But there's one critical problem with this. If you look closely, this play button was inspected by a guy named Rick. And yet, if you zoom in, you'll find there's no actual gold anywhere near this thing. Curious. I thought I could trust you. Rick. As the maker of the coolest play buttons in the world, this is just insulting. So here's the plan. We're gonna make an even bigger play button, except it's made of actual gold. Daniel? No. We talked about this. We cannot afford to make a hey, real- Hey, don't, don't look at him. So the question is, just how big is this play button going to be? The current gold play button is about 14 by 17 inches. It's a pretty big award, but if I can still carry it, it's too small. So the new play button will be just about two feet long and 16 inches wide. There's only one problem, and that is I have no idea how to do any of this, but that's just a minor issue. I mean, Mark Zuckerberg doesn't know how to be human and you don't see him complaining. We did some extensive research and found out there's a way to molecularly bond gold from a liquid onto a surface using electricity. I think okay yung and we can follow uh, this. Cyanide. Wait, cyanide? Aluminum is the metal we use to make Mr. Beast's play button, but it turns out aluminum is one of the hardest materials to play with gold, and we have to choose something else. This is why I ordered a 130 pound block of carbon steel. My bank is confused. I'm confused. Please subscribe. I, I can't keep doing this. After some waiting, the materials finally arrived, and it was time to cut out the play button shape. It wasn't easy since it's literally just a hundred pounds of steel, but we persevered and eventually got it done. It's hard to explain just how huge this actually is in real life. When it's done, this is going to be one of the most impressive things I've seen in a while. But it wouldn't be a play button without the mirror in the center. We got a few different kinds to see which color would work best and eventually settled on this one here. It's way softer than steel, so hopefully it won't be nearly as difficult to cut. What? It was at this exact moment we realized that glass is different than steel. They're not the same material, not even close. Every time we mess up like this, the video gets more and more expensive. But you know what's not expensive? Dragon City, which is a free mobile game that you should go download using the link in the description because it's free, there's dragons, and they saved me from financial ruin. Thank you, Dragon City. Collect and forcibly breed thousands of uniquely designed dragons, including your favorite YouTubers like Dream and, uh... Where is the Daniel Craft dragon? You know what? It's not a big deal. After you hatch them, collect food and gold to train and evolve your dragons, fight against other players, challenge the arena, and build your dragon city to new heights. Okay, but if there was a Daniel Craft dragon, would he still be a 3D artist, despite existing in two-dimensional space? Download the game now using the link in the description to get a free starter pack of 15,000 food, 30,000 gold, and the exclusive fortune dragon. But that's enough of that, let's get back to the video. So the shape is cut out, and the mirror is cut out, so it's almost done, right? No, it is not. It is very much not. Remember that small detail where it needs to be made of actual gold? It's not simple to do that. So while Tristan's job is polishing, I have to do chemicals. It turns out we need three different chemicals to plate this with real gold. The first is a cleaning solution that gets rid of the things that soap and water can't. The second is what I believe to be a hydrochloric acid based nickel solution which can cause cancer and damage to unborn children? Uh, here's the third chemical, it's basically liquid gold, doesn't even have cyanide in it, poggers. The polishing is almost done, and it's looking amazing, which means I need to be ready with these chemicals. But before we can plate the real play button, I need to test it on another piece of steel. And this is where the project screeched to a halt. I tried everything, higher voltage, lower voltage, outside, inside. No matter what I did, I could not get a single piece of gold onto this steel. All hope was lost, and that's when it hit me. I was using the wrong hydrochloric acid baby damaging solution. It's actually this one, not the other one. <laughs> I'm in constant pain. I was on my last leg. If this didn't work, I didn't know what I was gonna do. But thankfully, the hard work did pay off. Now 
Now that the gold plating works, we thought we were on the final stretch, but that's when we had one of our bright ideas. We've been lugging this award around everywhere and it literally weighs more than 100 pounds. It's super inconvenient and we wanted to fix that. The plan is to cut out most of the back of the award. It'll still be solid, it'll just weigh a lot less. We thought since we cut out the front, it would be easy to do the back. Well, thinking isn't exactly one of our strongest suits, so it turns out carbon steel is one of the hardest materials to cut with this machine, so when we thought we would be able to do this quickly, we were delusional. It took an immense amount of time, but look at the bright side. This is gonna be the world's strongest play button. If this thing falls on the floor, it's breaking the floor, not the play button. After many painful hours watching this thing cut in the freezing cold, the back of the play button is fully cut out. It weighs way less than it did before, but it's still pretty hard to carry. Unfortunately, that's when tragedy struck. Remember all that polishing work we did and how shiny it looked? Well, now it's entirely rusted over and we have to completely redo it all. It's safe to say it's starting to get old, you know, having everything go wrong, nothing working ever. But we have a deadline, so there's no time to mope around. I was gonna make this real gold play button, and no one could stop me. Not even complex chemical processes I know literally nothing about. Wait, is that what's messing us up? At long last, it was time for the main event. It was time to cover this entire award in 24 karat gold. It took many hours, and by the end, my entire palm was swollen. But against all odds, it worked. The final part of any play button is the text on the front. And that is where you come in. You are the ones who helped me get a million subscribers, which is why I'm giving this real gold play button to one of you. Whoever wins can decide what text gets engraved on the front. Seven days from now, I will be picking a random person who follows my Instagram to win this play button. I will give it to you. Go follow my Instagram, and without further ado, your move, Rick. Thanks again to Dragon City for sponsoring this video. Make sure to download the game using the link in the description to get that free starter pack and an exclusive dragon for a limited time.